We are in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and this is a global exclusive on the Heyman Hustle. The Heyman Hustle. The news broke everywhere, and it was nothing less than shocking. UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones, 24 years old and on top of the world, smashed his Bentley into a tree in the early morning in Binghamton, New York, and was arrested for allegedly driving under the influence. John Jones had the squeakiest, cleanest image in UFC, a man actually sponsored by the promotion itself, and now, for the first time, John Jones faces adversity. And that's why this is such an interesting episode of the Heyman Hustle, because who can relate better to what's happening to John Jones right now? Perhaps a great fall from grace than Iron Mike Tyson. And you know, Mike, the question is here, especially for John Jones, where does John Jones go now? Well, um, it depends on John, basically, what John wants to do, is where John's gonna go. Number one, the incidents like that, it basically turns into support system. A guy like me, when I was living my life, I had millions of dollars. I didn't have a support system. I had a bad support system, so I received bad support. So in an incident like this, we don't know. No one really knows John Jones. We just know he's a splendid fighter. We've never seen a UFC fighter like that. And um, wow, I just wish the best happens out of this situation because um, just like so many people love him, there's very few people out there that's in position to put him in a bad place. You know, and we're going to find out from this situation that John Jones is going to continue to make us love him for his great fighting and the way he carries himself as a great individual and humanitarian. Or he's going to let the, um, the bright lights and the dark shadows invade his life and he's going to just be one of those rising meteors that we saw that just, he flies through the air and lights the world up and then he dies down in a moment. I hope not because um, we all respect John, and John appears to be a very nice guy and respectable guy, and I just hope the best of him, for him, because I, I've been through those situations before. I, no one knows John. I'm pretty dark in my life. I come from a dark place, and um, wow, I just hope the best for Mr. John. Take care, champ. The Heyman Hustle!